following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, rockers and cockers? Welcome in to another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day being awesome to hang out with us on the east side of Nashville. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit that notification button, smash the like button, and of course, make sure you're following on any and all the social media I have linked down below. If you have a band, song, or a video that you'd like me to check out, the best place to get me your suggestion is over at the Discord server linked in the description below. Left-hand side, YouTube reaction requests, read the pinned message, drop a link, a brief description, I will get to it when I can. Today's Discord suggestion is coming from Dijon. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Dijon Nightwish. They want me to check out a Serbian band called Jenner. So today we're checking out Jenner. This is a track from their album they dropped in January, I believe. This is called Not Even You on the wild side. Here we go. <coughs> Fighter Records. <laughs>
There you go. That is Jenner, not even you, as suggested by Dejan Nightwish over on the Discord server. Again, if you have a suggestion for a band, song, or a video, get over to Discord. Let me know. Left-hand side, everything is right there. I like it. That's an ad for me. I would add it, see how it played out, see how it was accepted. Really, really good mainstream rock song right there that incorporated really a foundation of harmonic industrial. That's what you're hearing there. It's this is this harmonic industrial metal. But but here's something too. Again, that is Jenner with Not Even You. I think they released an album in January. And I apologize. I, I've been experiencing my allergies lately, so I've got the dry throat thing going. And I was wrestling with my cat, so I think I got a cat hair in there. And I think he's destroying something right now, so I apologize for being a slightly distracted. Um what I really enjoy about this exploration into new music, I don't want to say how old I am, but I have, I've been listening to rock and roll a long time. I've worked in rock and roll many years and I'm enjoying listening to the influence. The new musicians today are influenced by music I own. So I'm going through in my head and I'm like, wow, that sounds like prong. Hey, that sounds like, you know, just a straight rock band. So I've enjoyed watching the new bands, especially a band like Jenner. When you listen to them, you're hearing all of their influence filtered through modernity. So you're hearing all of that music they grew up listening to. It's all incorporated in their hooks, in the chord progressions, in the harmonies, in the bridges and, and the fills and changes. Everything is is steeped in tradition. There's a um, there's a familiarity there, right? So when that foundational tone, that foundational color that's really supporting the entirety of the track, there's this familiarity there, a, a, an authenticity there that you're comfortable with and that allows you to turn yourself over to the newness of the song. And because of her harmonies and the way that she structures her vocals through the track, everything fills its space without going over the edge, without being too much. And you can do that a lot of times, especially newer, younger bands that don't work with good producers. They'll get into a position where they think they need to cram everything into their one song, and that's not necessarily the case. Sometimes less is more. And I really enjoyed how this is a straightforward rock song, yet the subtleties are all indicative of their influence. So you're hearing that rhythmic industrial metal in there. You're also hearing the harmonic metal as well, the new metal. I never liked that word. But yeah, that's a, it's a great song. Um, good vibe. Like I said, good energy, great hooks. And that's what you look for. You want your, you know, you want more hooks than a tackle box, so to speak. And there was there was something there, um, just simmering underneath this this guitar hook that she was playing underneath repeatedly. Um, very and and when you listen to it, when you listen to it, it sounds very basic. It sounds like something a lot of bands do, but. Right here, when it goes into the harmonies, I want you to listen to what she's doing with the guitar, this repetitive chord progression that she's doing underneath. It's very basic. A lot of times guys call it a, a, just an exercise. It's, it develops from a, a tuning exercise or a fret exercise, then, then all of a sudden you find a harmony in it. So it's very basic in how it's usually discovered. But the reason I want to point it out, and sometimes less is more, the simplicity of that progression, repeated progression, creates this harmonic hook that you barely notice underneath. And it's really cool. It's, like, it's almost like if they were bringing in a tambourine. And you're like, oh, wow, it adds a completely different dynamic to the song. Right? That little, that subtlety underneath really kind of connects the two worlds of that 
traditional darker earth foundation with the harmonies in the life colors that the band is producing as well. It does a really good job of kind of threading them together and overall creating this momentum through the track. And it almost feels like, um, it almost feels like a rapid heartbeat, doesn't it? So well done. Thank you very much, Jenner, for that track. It is called Not Even You, as suggested by Dijon Nightwish. Let me know down below everything you know about the band, your thoughts about the track. But if not anything, make sure you throw me some horns down in the comment section. Let, let YouTube know Kilroy was here. YouTube's all about engagement. And if I'm trying to get my channel promoted, I'm trying to get to 30,000 subscribers. I've got a long way to go. So I need that engagement. YouTube will promote my channel, but only if you engage with the video. So let me know down below everything that you know about the band, your thoughts about the band, and of course, throw me some horns. I'm sitting here making the video. The least you can do is let them know Kilroy was here. And if you have a suggestion, get over to Discord, left-hand side, YouTube reaction requests, read the pinned message, drop a link, a brief description. I will get to it when I can. Thank you, John, for the suggestion. Thank you to all of you for taking time out of your busy day to hang out with me on the east side of Music City. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this is The Wild Side. <laughs>